The lifeguards still have the area near the bluff side blocked off. Now that it's high tide, you can see just how high the water gets and the impact that it has on the rock formation. Today we spoke with a geologist who talks and explains about how this slowly erodes away over time until the cliff finally gives way. The makeshift memorial continued to grow in front of the Grandview Surf Beach sign. Friends and family remembered 65-year-old Julie Davis, her 35-year-old daughter Annie Clave, and a third victim whose name the medical examiner is not yet releasing. They were killed Friday when a 30-foot section of bluff came crashing down onto the beach below. Nothing dramatic happened to cause it, to trigger it. The event is dramatic, but nothing dramatic happened to uh, trigger it. Grandview Beach doesn't have a lot of sand. During high tide, the waves can crash up against the cliffs. Over time, eroding away until one day it falls. What we're looking at here is the long-term effect. This is the way we understand the Earth. It's small changes taking place over a long length of time add up to big results. The city posts signs warning the bluffs are unstable. Lifeguards estimate they cost about 3,000 people each year to stay back. Geologist Pat Abbott recommends beachgoers take a close look at the bluffs before setting down. Before I set down any of my towel or any of my stuff, I look at the cliffs and I see fractures. Look for the failures first. No, no stress, no pressure, just look for where like it's going to fail and then avoid that spot and then just have fun. Geologists are still working to fully understand what happened, including whether any unintentional human activity played a role. Like in Del Mar, the blocks are unsteady partially due to train vibrations. Those cliff rocks there, where the train tracks are, are weak. You can, you can pick up those rocks and you can crumble it in your hand. Firefighters said recent shaking from the Ridgecrest earthquake did not contribute to the collapse, but they are reviewing if perhaps seemingly benign activity did contribute to it. They like plants. They want pine trees, which don't belong here. They want other vegetation, which doesn't belong, and then they water the heck out of it. Lifeguards and firefighters will keep this area closed for a little bit longer. You notice there are signs warning people that the cliffs are unstable. Of course, that warning extends not only here in Lucadia, but all along the California coastline.